What's going on YouTube? It's the Green Shiz. I hope everybody's having a great Wednesday. I am pretty upset about what the heck I just did. I, uh, for those of you that don't know, on OBS, which is the recording streaming software you have on computers, they have two buttons on there. One says record, the other says stream. I just streamed for 17 minutes thinking I was recording on Twitch. That sucked. Um, I went through my mail day. I went through my entire mail day, which was one card. Went through my mail day. Got the Zapdos in the mail. I went through it exact. I went through and actually did my submission to make this express while streaming, sharing my screen. Um, went over the condition of the card. The condition of the card's good. Um, explained why I bought it, how I bought it. Started getting into heritage auctions, talking about stuff going on there. And then I was wondering why my computer was so laggy, but I was literally streaming on Twitch to one viewer. That poor soul. Let's give him a moment of silence. Just whoever that was. I'm so sorry you had to endure that terrible video quality for 17 minutes. You poor soul. I pray for you. I do. Anyways, sad days. I just wasted 17 minutes of my life streaming to one person. Um, wanted to record, didn't record. Now I hate OBS. They shouldn't put those buttons so close together and they look similar. Um, they both end in ing. Start streaming, start recording. Uh, you should change it up. Just put stream, record. Two completely different words. Don't start them both with start. Don't end them in both ing and do better. OBS, you're you're on the crap list now. But uh yeah, so I bought this Galarian Zapdos. And the condition is great. And I bought it off eBay. Um, there's a lot of speculate not speculation, a lot of people that complain about, oh, you bought into the hype. You bought it when it first dropped. I bought it the day or two after it came out so it came out on friday the 18th i probably bought it on saturday or sunday um i wanted more listings to populate on ebay so the biggest benefit of buying a card early off of ebay is you can be that person searching for the best condition um these are the newest listings pack fresh cards you know they're all pack fresh. You can find the card with the best centering, the best looking edges. Usually they post just a back and a front pick, and that's all you have to go off of. You'd assume the surface is perfect. Um, you can tell what the edges are generally from the pictures provided, the corners, you know how good they are, and the centering is the biggest thing you can determine through eBay. Um, I found the card with the best centering, it seems they're pretty consistently off-centered. There's going to be a lot of cards not getting 10s if they're just submitting willy-nilly. Um, this card in the front was damn centered. Maybe a slight off left to right, which is why I estimated the centering grade at a 9.5, not a 10. Um, I estimated the surface at a 10, the corners at a 10, but the edges I estimated at a 9. Um, I got this card in. I'm going to pull it out of this sleeve and everything because I have to. But at the top here, there's like a... The way the card was made... You might be able to see it in the light. Yeah. Kind of see it right there. little lip. Um... Yeah, so I don't know how the it's it's the way it's printed, but I feel they can't give me a ten on it. So I called it a nine, worst case. And if I got the nine on edges, ten corners, ten surface, nine point five centering, 
it'll only get me a 9.5 grade, which is pretty bad. I'd consider pretty much all, almost all cards are going to get at least a 9.5 pack fresh. The 10 is the rarity, and uh, that's what I was chasing here. So, but I still, I'm still going to send it in, send it to CGC because there's an off chance that they uh, see that it's a manufacturing mark, but. I don't know. I guess we'll see. See how they grade that type of thing. And that'll be interesting. So I just repeated the same thing after I talked about it for 17 minutes. So that's exciting. So I have it ready to submit. I already filled it out. Um, and for me to submit this with my top service level um, was $60. With $8 going towards subgrades and $52 for the express grading. And it took me three minutes to submit and fill out the paperwork. And that was it. It was quick. Um, it's really, really easy, streamlined process on CGC's website. 50 times better than Beckett and probably only about 10 times better than PSA. PSA is not bad. It's got a big drop-down list when you start typing stuff, so it can, you can kind of pick the card as it pops up but if there's a lot of similar cards similar printings similar names like pokemon it's kind of tough because you god how many zapdos are there right there's you start typing in the name it's like well here's 37 different zapdos um so you got to pick the right one but yeah so i'm looking forward to that i'm still upset about obs i haven't forgot about you i hate you um do better please um I have all my stuff packed for Collecticon flying out Friday. Uh, looking forward to it. Going to be a banger. There's tons of stuff going on down there. Uh, King Pokemon's going to be down there. Um, and a couple of other YouTubers, uh, Real Breaking Nate and Super Duper Danny. Those are two I've never really got into. I'm not big into pack openings on YouTube. The YouTubers I listened to were old PokeRev. Um, I don't know if you know what that means, but I'll kind of explain it in a minute. Uh, Pokenomics has got some good stuff. Squeaks Game World. Uh, more just market things. I don't care about opening packs. And those are the videos from PokeRev I never really got into as pack openings. Um, and that's why I don't really watch Leonhart. I watch some of his content videos um that aren't pack openings or if it is it's something he hasn't opened ever or if it's a pretty rare item but i my some of my favorite videos from pokey rev were when he was live streaming pwcc auctions at night um obviously that was a once a month thing i feel like he doesn't do that anymore um he's kind of gone away from the whole market talking discussions which i respect he's ch kind of chasing the youtuber thing he's trying to create content and do flashier things like our friend pat flynn does at deep pocket monster he does some great editing work um so yeah i, I respect that he's doing what he's got to do does what he's liking um but yeah i definitely missed that from pokey rev is the uh the late night live streams talking about the pwcc market the prices like even I guess even if you're not talking, I don't know, just hearing his opinions on wh what prices cards are selling at, he'd have 37 tabs open, and maybe that's something I'd try. Maybe not, because my streaming is absolutely trash. So I need better internet, and it might be better if I'm upstairs, because I am obviously in my grandma basement and uh, chilling with a little glass birdie right here, if you've never noticed it. That was my grandma's bird. Um, real talk, this is not a grandma's basement. This is my basement. And this is my office. I work down here. Um, got two kids that are taking up all the bedrooms. And this is where I'm at. <sighs> Anyways. Moving on. I was getting into some heritage auction stuff. Um, they sent me this epic, epic magazine here. It's probably 75 pages. It actually has a price of $50 on the magazine. They sent this to me in the mail. And they have an upcoming collection of video games selling on July 9th and 11th. And this book is literally just filled. 
with video. It's all video games. All the different HD images of every game going on auction. Um, descriptions under each one. And in the descriptions kind of says the market, where it's at, a little bit on some of them. Really cool stuff. There are some crazy Pokemon games going up for sale on Heritage Auctions. And that is July 9th and 11th. I'm definitely not sponsored by nobody. And it's definitely something I look forward to watching. Also, just another plug for Heritage. On Tuesdays, they do, every Tuesday is a video game auction about 8.30, p.m. Eastern Standard Time. They have video games, and then at the very end of the video games, you'll notice they splash in a handful of Pokemon cards. It's usually not many, but there is Pokemon cards in there, and they almost always go below market because not a lot of people are looking there for Pokemon cards every Tuesday. Um, so definitely keep an eye out for that. <sighs> PWCC has an insane block going off this Saturday, Sunday. I think it's Saturday night. Um... Almost 7,000 cards. There is tons of vintage, tons of modern, lots of first edition base. So expect those prices to continue declining a little bit. It seems it might have hit the, like, PSA 9 plus first edition base might have hit a bottom. We'll see. Because it seems a lot of the, I'm seeing a lot of people wanting to buy right now those cards on instagram so if those start going up guess what's going to follow is the cards below it so that'll be interesting really can't wait i love seeing where those end up and it does always points up because people normal sellers use last sold listings as their price and pwcc most times for high-end cards is the last sold listing I don't know how many times I've sold something when I go, okay, what's the last sold? Oh, PWCC auction, what do you know? Um, honestly, nine, nine times out of ten for first edition cards, that is, uh, that's where you see the stuff ending and actually selling. So it's the best, best way to check it. So that's it for me. I, uh, I'm tired as hell. I'm going to need to go to bed. It's now 11 o'clock that I wasted 17 minutes streaming for no dang reason. So this is life. Got my Zapdos. I got another one coming in the mail. So hopefully that one's a little bit better. But I'll probably express grade both of them just to have them. Let me know if you have one for sale. Maybe I'll, uh, maybe I'll cop it if it's a good enough condition centering. What do you know? We can maybe make some magic happen, but... Let me know. Let me know if you're grading any cards. You guys uh, still cracking open some of these cards out of Chilling Rain? Are you chasing anything? Is anybody... I haven't heard of one person chasing the Articuno. Um, Moltres seems to be a pretty popular card. Uh, guess keep it going. See what happens. Anyways, peace. Good night.